Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Tales of Zillia 2. It's your old friend Hatso Doom. Here to give you the lay down of how this will run out. First of all, oh, uh, humor my OCD here for a second. I just got the game installed on my system, all the data or whatever, yada yada yada. And then my uh, PS3 kind of wonked out for a second. And, like, it didn't freeze, but it, like, acted a little sluggish for a moment. So, uh, you know, again... I'm always paranoid about how the technology will sync up with the system and everything. Make sure, you know, I'll be always be paranoid about if the recording's going to come out all right. You know, all that jazz. Anyway, okay, more to the point. Now, you may all remember my, uh, my, the other two Let's Plays I've done. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles and Let's Play Dawn of the New World. What makes this di and then, of course, the test run of Demon's Souls, but no one, no, no one knows about that. Anyway, uh, what th makes this Let's Play different as opposed to the other two I've done already, is the fact that I have not played this game before. This is my first run through of the game ever. I played the Tales of Symphonia back on the GameCube and Dawn the New World back on the Wii, so I already knew it was coming. So I can't be sarcastic and say I don't know what's coming next. I could say I don't know what's coming next, but it'll be genuine this time. So there's that. Now, now you see the thing, me hovering over downloadable content. Now, supposedly, any DLC you got for the first Tales of Zillia game will transfer over to Tales of Zillia 2, but I don't know the details about that. So we're gonna have, so I'm gonna have to experiment with that later if I don't see the content immediately available in game. I am assuming this downloadable content tab will be for the second game itself, because the DLC for the first game, while it's supposedly usable in the second game, is still tied to the first game. It's 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 weird. As for DLC I plan on getting for Z Tales of Zillia 2, yes, there's a couple of DLC outfits I plan on getting for a character, and let's face it, you probably know who it is, but we're gonna wait until they join the party. Also, a little bit of a letdown. Turns out the Emil outfit for this guy was, uh, pre-order only, so, you know, nuts to me there. That's my, that's my mistake. That's my fault. You know, I didn't pre-order the game even though I would, knew I was gonna buy it, so... Now, DLC it's checking maybe from the first game, who knows? Message speed instant. No. Subtitles, yeah. Because sometimes I can't tell what they're saying. It's, again, an OCD thing. Yes, yes, normal, normal. Autocorrect. They're saying the camera moves along with the players. Uh, we'll leave that on for now. And of course, survey. Oh, of course. Change the amount of time available to anyone. Ah, oh, no, okay, button well, configuration. I'm sure we'll I'm sure everything I'm sure everything's fine here. Let's just uh you know, make sure. Alright then. What the I haven't even done anything yet! This is this was quick! What the shit! You're saying I'm already in a battle? What the hell? <laughs> Heesh! That's the, the quickest firing of this series yet. Uncle. You and I are definitely brothers. And yet. I got all the strength. You actually think you'll make it through the trial like this? Don't make me laugh, Luger. Luger, okay. That's how you pronounce his name. I was pronouncing it Luger. Luger. Okay, that makes sense. There's a G in there. Unbearably cool. <laughs> Eesh. Toy swords, huh? Of course, you're not wielding them like Lloyd. You're trying to be Lloyd. You're not Lloyd. The gears of fate that grind the curse bind upon us an armor of death. It's a key and a lance that pierces space and time. Souls encircle the throne of the void. The branches of history reach out to infinity. I don't think the text during battle really shows. I don't think that's ever been the case. You alone must make the decision, brother. Everything rides upon this one choice. Not just your life, but the fate of the entire world. Do you have what it takes to destroy, to choose, to pass the trial? Answer me, Luger Krasnick! Didn't Tales of Fantasia or something start out a little bit like this? I, I, I don't know. I saw the Mr. Guard go off, and I was like, wait a minute. Haven't we done this before? I, I don't know. I've never played Fantasia. Yes, I know. It's the sequel to Dawn of the New World. Technically, I'm not wrong on that. <laughs> 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 
fucking cat. <laughs> oh crap! Whoop! Yeesh! This game's uh getting off to a bit of a quick quick draw start, huh? Yeesh! And not a quick draw start, and Alvin hasn't even shown up yet. Bada bing! You know, he's obviously... Cutting it a bit close, don't you think? Need I remind you that this is the Spurious Corporation's entrance exam? Holy shit, a choice! I had heard about this shit! Don't call me. <laughs> Not today. Today, I'm your proctor. Family ties won't earn you a passing score, so set them aside. Okay, so I think those choices actually do have some sort of effect, kind of like they did back in Symphony, which is good. Gotta stay quiet for now. Well, all right then. Let's get this test started. So I don't say what I select. Training area. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes out. way to try left city limits. You could head straight out of town from here. I wouldn't, though. It's an automatic fail. Here, your weapon. Dude, it's playing the music from the final dungeon of the first game. Are you shitting? Oh, if it could even be called dungeon, I call it a final run, but you get the idea. Similar combat grip. We're definitely brothers. <laughs> the exam is live combat. Slay five of the monsters lurking in the training area and return before your time runs out. Spurious is not liable for any injuries sustained during the exam. But just between us, if things go bad, I've got your back. You're my brother. Thank me later. Here they come. Come on, my character just spoke. What the shit? I'll have to turn uh, semi-auto off somehow. Back in what back when I get control, maybe I can do it here. Yes, I know what to do. Okay, so uh, control mode, manual. Azure Edge. Oh, so we're taking a so we're taking a Yuri Lol approach to this time disintegration. Wind, physical. I guess that's what the sword means. I know that means wind. That must be like physical or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, but I'm, this guy can't be a silent character. He just spoke. He, he just shouted, oh, crap. So I, I don't know. It's, an, it's my OCD running its mouth. Okay. 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 All right. Zelia uses that AP system. I almost forgot about that. No, seriously, what are they trying to imply by playing the final run music from the first game in, like, the very first area? They're trying to imply something here. They have to be. No way they would do otherwise. Okay. 
the guy has to talk. There's a lot of, like, relationship building in this game, from what I know. Because, like, this guy has, like, a duo mystic art with, like, every single other character in the game, so... I would just find it awkward if he didn't. The reason I'm sounding so anal about it is that I've never been a big fan of a silent protagonist, and I've never seen that in a Tales of game before, so it may just be the beginning of the game. We'll see. There it is. There's all the stuff from the first game. All right then. So it's it's good. It's good that we uh, you know, got got all this back. I like I liked this stuff. All right then. Yeah, but again, I don't mean to be like so anal about it, but like this is a Tales of game. There's got to be a little bit of voicing, and come on, this is the main character. And again, the relationship aspect of this game. I mean, there's got to be some voice acting from the main character. I mean, he can't be purely silent. I mean, we, we, we heard him say a few words, but the fact that he doesn't say anything... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll try and... Try and calm down now. Try and calm down a little bit. Oh, 
your shit. Still kind of getting used to things again. What can I say? You know, I'm used to the dawn of the new world layout. I'm guarding what I mean to be free running. Don't get me wrong, I like how you're free running in the other games. Huh, fun. I probably didn't have to win that, but oh, here we go. We get more accurately defined. Okay, no, that's good. <laughs> Seriously, you gonna say something ever? Other than your attack names? Please, say yes. My hero! Here, take this! <laughs> what the shit?! The deception is commonplace on the battlefield. Didn't you think it suspicious the way she just appeared out of nowhere? This is a Tales of game. Situational analysis. Luger Kresnik, you failed. I... The fuck you, dude? Oh, hey, an anime cutscene. Holy shit, it's Carl! Uh, wait a minute. No, it can't be him. He's, he's dead. He went downstairs. After him. Your pocket watch. Well, you know how to read a clock, right? You need to get on the 10 o'clock train leaving from Triglyph Central Station. From there, head to the land of Canaan. To Canaan? It's a place where any wish can be granted. It's where you and I can finally live in peace. A place that grants wishes? You must go there, no matter how frightening it may be. Okay, I promise I'll go. Hurry! Get to the train, and then to Canaan! Shoot him, now! <laughs> I'll meet you there, I promise! Daddy! Damn it, she got away! It doesn't matter. He's the key. Dude, he's a chiropteran! <laughs> I can't help myself. Yeah, okay, what's going on here? No, don't! No, holy shit! He is a chiropteran! Shit, man! That is Carl! <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I'll, 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 it's just, uh, This is not starting off like a traditional Tales of game, I can tell you that much. Uh, is this the theme song? If it is, I have to skip it. Yeah, I, I kind of have to. Sorry, guys. I, I want to avoid the, all the uh, copyright bullshit. That'll come if I record this. I, I, I definitely apologize, but after the Symphonia Let's Play, I want to avoid all copyright bullshit. Hey, Luger, you alive in there? Chop, chop. Sleeping in on your first day of work? Smooth move. 
Somebody's ready for a pep talk from his brother. Yeah, good call. There was no reason to coddle you. I mean, you're not a kid anymore. Hmm. Are you still bummed about what happened during the Spurious exam? Look, I think the station cafeteria is going to be a good fit for you. Can we get some words out of this fucking guy? Looks like Rolo's Please. Too. Let's eat. Please! What's the special today, Chef? Whoa now, Maestro. Calm down, it's only breakfast. You don't How fuck with me and food. I mean, I could be rain. How about some Diet Kitty Crisps? Gotta lift you from the knees, big boy. Seriously, this is really bothering me. He's barely said a word. At least he said a word or two or three. That means he's not a. Means he's not. Maybe not. Means, maybe, maybe he's not completely silent. But. At the Oscor plant, a joint venture between the government and the Spurious Corporation. The plant's projected output surpasses that of any other facility in Olympias. Industry leaders have high hopes that Oscor's output will stabilize Olympias's food supply. To commemorate the occasion, a ceremonial train will depart from Triglev Central Station at 10 o'clock today. The cream of Olympias will be on hand, including Spurious CEO Beasley Bakur. A ceremonial train, huh? And it leaves right from your new workplace. How's that for a perk? <laughs> Say, I should really give you something to celebrate your new job, shouldn't I? This old hunk of junk? Hey, if it's a watch you want, I'll spring for a new one. Well, how about a nice necktie instead? You'll be dealing with all sorts of folks at the station, you know. Gotta look sharp. Whoops, I gotta run. Hmm? Catch you later. You should go too. A train station employee running late is a pretty big faux pas. Get a bonus for beating the first game. <laughs> for you played the bejeebus out of the first game. All right then, I'll take the freebies. Save data found for Tales of Grace's F. We offer the attachment of a certain character with long black hair to you. Uh, Say what like that graces. Maybe it's talking about someone else. Really? So, uh, uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I guess I can't customize yet. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> Yuri, lol. <laughs> Oh my god. It's pretty funny. <laughs> no, it's fun size. I'm not short, I'm fun sized. I'm sorry, I had to. Anyway, uh Yeah, I really hope this guy isn't as silent as he's being made out to be. I hope it's just like a temporary thing until like something happens in the game. Uh hey. Yeah, I remember this place. 
same too. Kind of like, you know, Dawn of the New Worlds aspect, you know, that they, they try to make the maps the same layout just to make it feel like, you know, you haven't really left anywhere, it's just in the future. But anyway, I really hope this guy isn't silent. Because, I just, again, I don't like silent protagonists. And this is a Tales of game, what the shit? Well, at least he said, at least he's not Link silent. At least he goes beyond simple grunts and shouts. He says the names of his attacks. He said, like, Three words in cutscenes, at least. It's... It's really bothering me. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, dudes... Ooh, excuse me. Anyway, dudes, uh, I'm gonna cut off the video here, but... Stay tuned. Let's hope, uh... Let's hope this guy starts saying something, huh?